Welcome to my channel and let's have a look at the newest book in Mythographic series. It's by Joseph Kettenbank and it's Aviary. From the cover you can see that the whole book dedicated to birds. You know that I love to color birds. I consider that coloring feathers is much easier comparing to color fur. So uh, let's have a look at this beauty. As usual, cover is amazing, very inspiring, beautiful color combo. Paper is even a little bit thicker. I know. Um, paper we will test later. Now let's concentrate on the pictures. I'm glad that it's another book without any hidden objects, so we can concentrate only on the main design. Actually, everything we can expect from Joseph Kettenbank, very detailed fantasy designs. Pictures you can find uh, similarity to real birds and you can use some uh, reference pictures or you can color them in totally uh, fantasy style. We'll look at this one because here we have violin uh, which gently transformed into tree. Very interesting. I hadn't noticed it until I had noticed this hand and then I noticed that it's part of the violin. Absolutely amazing idea. Very creative as all books by Kettenbank. Here we have maybe it's a wooden dryad, wooden fairy, because part of her hair also is transformed into tree with beautiful flowers. Oh, I promised to color pictures with flowers in April, so maybe I can start something from this book also. I really love paper on touch. I don't know why it feels, maybe it's slightly more white. Oh, it's just my joy from the new book. Well, I would say that Mythographic recently are the most interesting series on the market when many publishers, many artists stop to produce books. Mythographic continue to do probably one book in two months because they use several artist works and I am so eager to see what we can have from the new artists they promised for the end of the year. But Atanasio and Kettenbank books, they are really very nice in this series. Just look at this beauty, crystals, these interesting stairs. I love this one. We have what we have, like turtle with wings. Very interesting and very cute girl. Probably here we have fire birds here around the candle. Oh, I love owls. I plan to color picture with owl in Alessandra Fusey book, but maybe I can switch here. And again, a lot of flowers. I love this plumeria flowers there. Very nice. And I would say that they are not as intricate, as intimidating as in Odyssey or even in Voyage. I would totally recommend this book even for beginners. They are not very intimidating. There are no empty background areas, so you can easily do background either with markers or with pencils, even with watercolor, and you won't be suffering. As I suffer when I do empty backgrounds on a very bad paper, like I did in Witches. Here everything is absolutely great. Paper quality, size of the details, variety in subjects. Even if everything is about birds, still designs vary. And I think that it won't be boring to color the whole book. That's definitely one of the books which I want to color from first until the last page. There are no pictures which don't inspire me. Look at this beautiful uh, stained glass window, which also has beautiful peacock probably. Look at this flamingo transformed into rose bush. So nice. Not only rose, but also other tropical flowers. Very nice. 
and that's one of my favorite pictures here. I immediately noticed it when I got the book, so I really want to do this one as soon as possible. And this one also is very cute. We have chicken and she is holding her, her house on her back together with all her children. So sweet, I don't know why, but it really uh, get a very warm feeling from me. So comfy beneath the wing of the bird. And look at this one. Here we have probably a kind of phoenix uh, who guard his treasures. Oh, you know that I love to color metal, so this one also was uh, immediately put into top of my to-do list. This one is interesting bird in steampunk style here, but when it looks into the water, she saw herself as a real bird with just feathers. Very interesting idea. And look at these flowers here. Beautiful bluebells. Here we have like glass houses for the birds and for the insects. Yes, some of the pictures are slightly similar to his other books, but it's quite understandable because he produced so many books in such a short time, but still a level of fantasy and a level of the art talent is absolutely amazing. I think that I simply feel like a collector of books. I accepted for myself that even if I love all the designs, I probably never will be able to color all of them, but still that's good because in such a way I support a real artist, I support publisher who create books in a really a very good quality comparing to many other books printed on shitty paper. Sorry my language, but I just did a couple of pictures on bad paper and when I look at the book made in a very decent quality when you just have pleasure from touching cover, touching paper and look at pictures even in black and white I think that they deserve to be supported. Look at this one, so nice. I think that here I would do the central part in more realistic colors, green leaves, uh, blue water, fishes, and then around the bottle I will do more fantasy style leaves. I think about red and yellow. Well, it's really, really very inspiring. When I look at all these pictures, I immediately start to imagine what color palettes I can use here. I definitely think that it's one of the best books in the series. You know that I was slightly disappointed in Alexandra Fusey books. They are mm, challenging, they are not very easy, they are like solving puzzles to color. But Kettenbank and Atanasio books in this series just perfect. Look at these cuties, so many yummy things here. And of course those round cute penguins, adorable, absolutely adorable. I think that it will be one of the pictures which I would want to color during hot summer. Look at this beautiful company, all friends sitting on top of the deer. Oh, well, so nice. Great. I can recommend this book with all my heart. I hope that I won't be putting it on my shelf and that I will start to color in it as soon as possible. But I'm just happy that I managed to get it and the book is absolutely perfect. So, thank you to Mythographic Series for publishing another beauty and I think that we will have a lot of good time doing pictures here. Thank you and until my next videos.